Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. In the month of September, we're going to look at the creation story, learn some earth trivia and how we can care for the earth better, and finally in week three, explore what is climate change. I hope you'll join me each week as we look at the scripture, hear some stories, create some crafts and science experiments, all related to the amazing planet we live on and how God calls us to care for it. Let's get started first with an opening prayer. Let's put our hands out in front of us, palms up. Imagine that all the worries and the things that we're mad about are escaping up through our hands and out of our bodies. Let us pray. Dear God, you call us here together to learn about the wondrous earth that you have created for us to care for. Help us to put aside all those things that are worrying us and making us anxious or mad and just focus on you for the next few minutes. Amen. Okay, let's get started with our story. Today we're starting at the very beginning of God's big story. Who knows what story is told in Genesis, the very first book of the Bible? That's right, it's the story of creation. Okay, everybody, close your eyes for a moment. Keep them closed tight. What do you see? Well, I know for me, I see absolutely nothing. I see darkness. Is it the same for you? I think so if you were keeping your eyes closed. Have you ever been in a really dark closet or maybe the basement where it's very dark? It's like that. Well, that's how it was in the beginning when God created everything. Just darkness. There was nothing, nothing except for God because God was there at the beginning. God's with us now and God will always be with us in the future. God's big story. The book of Genesis says, God created the heavens and the earth. Our powerful God is about to begin his big story. It says in the scripture, God hovered over the waters. God said, let there be light. So God separated the light from the darkness. Then God created the land and the seas. God also created nature, fruit trees, flowers, and bushes. God then created the sun, the moon, and the stars. She created animals on the land, fish in the sea, and the birds in the air. Then God created man and woman. Who knows what the name of these first two people were? That's right, Adam and Eve. Our Bible verse for today comes from Psalm 29, verse 1a. The earth and everything on it belongs to the Lord. The world and all its people belong to him. Let's say it together. The earth and everything on it belongs to the Lord. The world and all its people belong to him. What do you think that means? I think it means we are all a part of the world that God created. We are not in charge of the world. It doesn't belong to us. It belongs to God. So it is our job to live together with all that God has created and keep it safe. God did, though, put us in charge of caring for the earth. In the next couple weeks, we will see if you think we are doing a good job of caring for the earth. One of the amazing things about the earth is the weather. We have all types of weather, especially here in the Chicagoland. The earth has great beauty, amazing things, and sometimes scary things happen in our weather. This morning, we're going to create a hurricane in a jar. 
If you printed out the experiment directions that were attached to this lesson and you have the materials out to do the project, just pause for a minute and then you can do it along with me. If not, let's just do this one together. So here's what you'll need. You'll need a glass jar, a measuring cup, a third or a fourth, some food coloring, some water, and some hand soap that's not the clear kind, but the opaque kind that has a special ingredient in it. So let's start out here. First, we're going to measure out our soap. And do you see how it's not clear? It's more opaque color. So I'm measuring out a third of a cup for that. And I'm pouring it into my jar. Next, I'm going to add my water, but I'm going to add it slowly so as not to foam up the soap too much. If, you, if it gets too soapy and bubbly at the top, you just give it a second to settle down and then add some more water. Now, here's where the food coloring part comes in. You can, I'm going to add blue today to make it more look more like the sky and a hurricane or a tornado going through. But you could add red and yellow to make pink and orange to look like a sunset, or maybe green to look like lava or um, some kind of slime. You could add whatever color you like. So once I have all that in there, the important thing is to make sure you have it tight so it doesn't spill all over and then you're going to shake it all up so that the soap mixes and then you're going to swirl it around and then see how the soap makes it into looking like it's a hurricane or a tornado we had some really bad weather here just a couple weeks ago and hopefully none of you were had any bad damage from that tornado that came down so that's our hurricane in a jar. If you did it along with us, I hope yours turned out well, or maybe you'll do it again a little later this week. Send me a video or maybe a picture of your hurricane jar and show me how it turned out. After we're done today, I hope you'll take a few minutes to look at the video clips that I've attached to the email that I sent. One is of the creation story and it's a song and the other is a clip from the movie Lorax that talks all about us being guardians of the earth. There's also a little craft project for you there. So before we go, let's go over the Bible verse one more time to see what you remember. The earth and everything on it belongs to the Lord. The world and all its people belong to him. Thanks for coming and sharing today with me and I'm looking forward to sharing my Earth Trivia with you next week. I wonder how many questions you'll get right. Bye. See you then.